p.m. Eastern time, we have got Utah State and San Jose State. And the reason I'm bringing this up is Nick Starkle came back and started playing last week. I thought that this line would be Utah State minus four. And instead, San Jose State came out and was favored by four. Now they're up to four and a half. Total of 57 and a half. They last met in 2018, so none of that crap really matters. Other than the fact that Utah State is 8-0 and oh straight up and 7-1 and one against the spread in their last eight against San Jose State. That was before Brent Brennan really got this thing rolling with, uh, with the Spartans here. Uh, with Nick Starkle back and everything else, uh, you would think it would boost me a little bit on, on San Jose State. But, ma'am, when I look at what Blake Anderson's done, uh, he and Logan Bonner have really turned this thing around. Utah State is 7-2 and two straight up this year. They are rocking. And I think they're going to continue rocking, even on the road here. San Jose State's got the better defense, but but I think Utah State finds ways to score. I'm going to take Utah State plus the four and a half here. They're not as talented as San Jose State, which is a weird thing to say these days, but I think they're the better football team. So I'm going to take the Aggies. Yeah, I think you're right. I think, you know, I think they got a chance to win this game. I really do. And that would be a massive, massive win for Blake Anderson and, and Utah State. They have so got I'm going to take the points well. They've got a shot to win 10 games this year. Like, it blows my mind looking at this. But they have got a shot to do it. They've got the offense to be able to do this. That team is playing well together. They've got a, a lot of good chemistry. 